Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Orogiri. And today we're going to be talking about how to get the special character outfits resembling the outfits of Akane and Aoi. So the new Kotonoha sisters. Um, and it's a doozy to do. A doozy doozy to do. Because it can't be obtained in game. So, Cyberstep just acknowledged that the Aoi special clothing and Akane special clothing sets are missing from the Kotonoa Sisters exchange shop. The obvious solution, they do a maintenance and add it into the exchange shop. However, they're not going to be doing that. Is the, I'll read you the post. This is, this is um, them talking on... on the Cyberstep Onigiri PS4 page. So this was put up on May 6th, so yesterday I believe. So I'm a little bit late to the party, some of you might already know this, but they didn't post this on Twitter, they didn't post this on Facebook, they didn't post this anywhere. Um, and I just found out about this because Raylan found out about it and she directed it to me and I'm making the video about it. So hello Soul, Scythe, the kitty cat, Eva, how are y'all doing? Okay, so I'll read you guys this message and I'll tell you what's going on. Dear users, we have come to the attention, we have come to the attention that the Aoi special clothing and Akane special clothing sets are missing from the Kotonoa Sisters event item exchange. We apologize for the inconvenience caused by this error and we will be sending compensating users who wanted to obtain the outfits. So they, they made some typos right there. Um, they said compensating users doesn't really matter. So th they'll be sending compensation to users who wanted the uh, to obtain the outfit sets. So I'm gonna keep going before I interject at all. Please send us an inquiry via the contact us page, letting us know the following: Onigiri accounts registration email and gender of the set you wish to obtain. Please look carefully at the compensation present description so that you do not accept the wrong gender's clothing. If this happens, you're going to be stuck with a piece of equipment that's going to be permanently stuck in your inventory that you cannot dispose of nor use because it is impossible to use um, female um, clothing sets on a male character or vice versa. <sighs> Then they go on to say, sincerely, the Onigiri management team. So, hey, Botch, and there is a lot of things that they should do about this instead of what they're doing. So, now I'm going to talk about it. So, on one hand, let's talk about the good, and then we're going to talk about the bad, because the good is very short. The good is, there's a way to get this stuff. They've acknowledged, The good is, they've acknowledged it's missing. There's a way to get it. And we just got to follow a couple steps to do it. What's bad about this? Everything in the exchange shop is available. It's not. No, no. So I'm going to answer that right now, Lunar. Um, Lunar Wolf. Um, you have to go through this page. So I'm going to have to put the, the link to this in the description of the video. I'm, I'm going to put the link to this right now in the comments. Because you know that if I say I'm putting something in the description, I never do it. But this is kind of serious, but it's not. You don't message them via Twitter. You don't message them via Gmail. You don't message them via Facebook. You have to go through their official channels here. So let me um, find my channel here. Go to my own comment section. Hello. It's me. Hello. I'm going to be telling myself to do something, and I'm going to do it. All right. So let me clicky click. There. So that link right there that I just posted. Um, can I edit the description right now? Can I do that? I can't do that. Why can't I do that? Dang it. That'd be so amazing if they would let you live edit things. Comment. There, look at that. So when the official video is done, that link is going to be in the comments. Fantastic. Because I can access comments before you guys can. All right. So I talked about the good. So basically, um, 
yeah, there's a way to get it. But that's the next part. Right. But Eva's probably smiling right now because I just told her that Gbotch will not like this. Brimtone will not like this because it's only going to go to one character because it's account based. It's not going to be character based. And what I was saying was that um, normally with an exchange shop, you get to play the event on as many characters as you want, get the stuff from the exchange shop and do with it as you would. Um, you know, but for the people that play a many different alts, this is not really good of an option for them. Um, one thing you could do now, I know this is a bad method and I don't know if they're going to fix it or not. Um, when you guys send your tickets, um, you're fine with it. Okay. I was just assuming anyone with multiple characters might not like this. Um, but your characters are all male and I don't think you want to wear the dress, but you know, you do you. Um... But I don't know, like, maybe send the ticket. Like, I think when you guys send your little support ticket, I said little, but, you know, when you send this in, afterward, you should message them on Facebook and say, hey, I put this in. Hopefully, I did it right. Um, and then give them a little grievance. Say, I did it. However, I'm not going to be able... I don't like the method you're doing this with. Like, I'd like it if you guys would just fix the exchange shop. Or they won't put it in the points room because then... Uh, unless it's free... But even then, um, oh, okay. But like, maybe it go in and express, like put your support ticket in, message them, say, Hey, I put this ticket in. I'm glad you guys are, you know, giving us an option to get this. However, it kind of limits, you know, like I kind of wanted it on multiple characters and I can't really do that if it's account based. Um, and I was, I was just about to say, well, maybe you can accept like the Aoi on one character and Akane on another character, but then like, what if they're grouped together? You know what I mean? Like, what if it's like Akane box aoi box with the thing in it or it's like all individually they do yeah like if it's if it's individual like let's say i want aoi on oro and then i want akane on my character scarlet rose because that would be really awesome i wouldn't do it though but let's say i wanted to do that split it up put it where i want them to go um if they come joined then we can't do that and most compensations come join they don't just come piece by piece i i don't believe so um so that's really hard to say so you, at the end of the day it's going to be account based you have to pick um so that's that's pretty much the bad part the good part is that yeah there's a way to get it the bad part is that you can't get it on multiple different characters uh, and it's account based and you were saying you have to remember your registration email for it to work so in case you're all wondering what that really means is the on ps4 the email you signed up with at the beginning of the game so whatever email that was your hotmail your gmail whatever whatever's tied to your psn account is the email you must send them and absolutely blue soul absolutely that's that's the big thing they shouldn't have us go through all these hoops and jumps and all that stuff it should literally be if you had a character, it should just be like a, a blanket thing. If you had a character created before like April 15th, 2019, you will receive this package and you will get this outfit. Do with it what you will. Um, you know, that's that should be how it is. But now it's only going to be, be the people that watch this video that are going to get it. The people that have a computer the people that have phones you know not everyone has phones um but jokes aside it's only gonna be a handful of people that are in the know that look towards social media that look towards uh the cybersteps website that are following them on twitter that are following them on facebook but they're not even posting it on facebook and or twitter so only a handful are going to get these outfits the people that are in this video right now the people watching the people that are going to go ahead and do this and ultimately, it doesn't matter if people played the event or not. You could start this game right now and get the outfit if you follow all these steps. You can make a new account right now. Make a new PSN, make a new uh, Hotmail or a new email account 
or anything like that. And you can make a new account right now as so long as you know what you're doing and put all the information in and that level one character would get this stuff having never touched the event. Occurrence date? Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of I don't knows, but yeah, yeah, I, uh, we got to message him. Oh, I can't. Yeah, it's the new meta. That's right. But, you know, points aside, I'm going to fill this out myself right now. And I'm going to talk to you guys how to go through it. Put it in this today. Okay. So. Hmm. So there's feedback and suggestions, account, billing, and bug report. So I guess it would be in bug report. I believe. VS the contact us page. Okay, launcher, login trouble, data recovery, crashing report, gamepad, avatar, quest, avatar, party, skill, item, partner characters, player misconduct, game functions, sake, magatama, succession, stage, other, avatar. My what? Can we log in? Can we log into this? Oh my god. You have to log in. You have to sign into the account? Are you serious? That's bullshit. Fuck. Ah. Now they're asking too much of me. I don't even know if like Google saves this or not. Like if my password saved. Oh. What are you saying no for? You didn't need to sign in? Hmm. Are you already signed in? Mm. This is quite the pickle. So I'm clicking bug report. I'm clicking avatar. It wants me to log in. So what did you do if you didn't need to sign in? Yeah, location would be Onigashima. But what do you mean you didn't need to sign in? It's asking me to sign in. It just asked for bug report item. Hmm. I'll give that a shot, I guess. Yeah, it's still asking me to log in. Maybe yours is saved so you're logged in. You're getting the outfits for the characters. I guess I'm gonna hit the good old forgot password because fuck. Glorious things. Okay, let me check my whole email machine here. Yeah, not the made ones, no. Oh fuck, that was fast. It's for your character. It's so that, like, I could wear Aoi's outfit or Akane's outfit. Something like that. Um, we were notified that you requested to reset your password. Your pass- Holy fuck, this is a stupid password. <laughs> um... 
my goodness. But if you do ask them to reset your password, it's incredibly quick. Log me in, chief. Excuse me? Oh, I probably put it in wrong or something. What the hell? What? The Alley outfit does look nice. It's up to you. Oh, I have to... Thanks, game. You don't have the patience? It's two seconds, dude. Like, it's literally, they send you the password, then you accept the password by clicking the link below, and then it activates it, and then you hit sign in, I guess. You put it in. There we go. I'm in. What do you mean my whole name doesn't fit? God damn it. Alright. Account settings. I have account settings? Alright. So you can change your email address for Onigiri? Wow, I didn't know that. Cool. Okay, now that we jump through those hoops, let's uh let's go back to fixing this issue. Bleached out? What's bleached out? Oh, that's that's up to you. I got this uncle off it. I don't wear it, but that's up to you. I mean, if you don't care, you don't care, right? But it's something that should have been here that's not. And the way they're doing it is uh, not very good. Um, item, I guess. Yeah, it would be item. Yeah. Occurrence date. Um, 2019. Is this the year, the month? I don't know. That's the year, that's the month, that's the day. Okay. This is the fifth month, sure. And today is the seventh day. The time is now. I don't know. Friggin'. I don't know. Six o'clock. Why not? Location. Onigashima. Frequency. Always. Character name. Oro Ralia. Oh, okay. Image file. No. Alright, so details. Hi. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm submitting this, um, inquiry ticket in accordance with, um, your post about receiving the Akane and Aoi outfits from the Kotonoha sister event on Onigiri PS4 US. <sighs> Stop it, get some help. Oh, the, the email only changed for PC? That makes sense. 
Okay. So I'm basically saying, hi, I'm submitting this inquiry ticket in accordance with your post about receiving the Akane and Awa outfits from the Kotanoa Sisters event on PS4, Onigiri PS4 US. And then my registration email is, you know, whatever. All right, so I gave them my registration email. What else did they ask for? And what gender of clothing you want, right? My character's gender is female is female I don't think it'll really matter if do you guys think it'll matter if um, you specify glamorous female no one remember that anyway it's just female my character's gender is female um, let me uh, hi my registration email is this my character's gender is female um, Okay. It won't be figure based. No, it won't. Yeah, for sure. You forget your password and you reset it, but when they ask me to reset it, they want me to sign in. Um. Did you on, on the email they sent you, Scythe? There's a little link you have to click at the bottom to activate your resetted password. Because they're gonna send you a password, and I tried to put it in, and it wouldn't work. But I went back to the email. I scrolled down and said, "Activate this link. And it's gonna validate this password." And then from that point on, then the password's active. And I didn't have to sign in to use the password. But that's what I did. The reason for that being is like, let's say I got a hold of your email address and I just put it in. Oh, this is my email address. I want to reset my password. You have to get that email and verify it. Yeah. Yeah, people make a fake email for three seconds to make an account for sure. Yeah. That's in every game. But I added a little bit to it. I said, this is my registration email. This is my character's gender is female. And I said, as an, as an added question, will I be able to receive this on multiple characters as most of my characters have played the Kota Noha event? Or will I just be limited to receiving the outfits on a single character? And that's what I'm going to submit. So I had, this is her inquiry to you asking about the thingies, the outfits. On P on, I specified on Onigiri PS4 US, and then I put my registration email, my character's gender. So that's what I put. Are there any other bugs with this outfit or this uh, update? Oh, nice. I know, I know it's more than likely, but sometimes asking a question is much better than an accusation. 
Whenever you ask someone, why isn't it like this? You're accusing them of why is it like this? You know? Like if I'm saying, why can't I get it? Or, or am I able to get this on multiple characters? I'm indirectly stabbing them with why can I only get this on one character? You know, like it's, it's every question has an inverted intention, you know, like saying, why is the sky blue is the same thing as saying is why isn't it every other color? You know, every, every question has an inverse. Like if someone looked down at themselves and they said, why am I skinny? It's the same thing as saying, how come I'm not fat? I eat a lot of food. Answer metabolism. But, you know, I'm just I'm just throwing some shade at them for you youngins. That's what I'm doing. Throwing some shade. All right, that's what I'm going to do. It's all good. Grammar's good. Submit. Inquiry type. Thank you for the inquiry. We cannot always reply immediately, but would like to thank you in advance for your patience. A confirmation email has been sent to the email address you provided. And it's right there. Nice and fast. Please confirm the details of your email address and then after waiting for the period, lodge another for a short period. Or, or if it does not receive, okay. Well, I got the email. Thank you for using Cyberstep game support. Inquiry number, yada yada. We receive your inquiry. Depending on the volume of support request, we may not be able to reply immediately. Thank you in advance for your patience. Inquiries, onigiri, bug, item, registration, email. Registered email, uh, date, frequency, location, frequency always, location, Onigashima, or Aurelia, details, and then my whole message is right there. Please do not reply to this email. Okay, that's all done. In additional news, I got Icicle Punishment. It's pretty cool. It's got like no cooldown. Um, and I made a mag for ice called the Lightning Scorched Magatama, and I was ornamenting it. Me and Eva were ornamenting it, taking turns. And I took I do I used a lot of my mag items, and I managed to get an extra 34 lightning, 23 holy, and 29 ice on the Lightning Scorched mag. So it's like 69, a glorious 69 ice, and. How much lightning's on this thing? 94 lightning on it and some holy. I got rank 5. So I got to keep running and try to get rank 7 maybe, but rank 5 is pretty cool. It's pretty big. I got to get it to rank 6. And it's pure ice. The move is 100% ice. I thought it was wind like illusion ray, but it's not. Illusion ray is wind and ice, but this move is 100% ice. 100%. So it's going to scale exactly with ice element. So right now I'm at 119 ice. You got it too? Nice, nice. But it's going to scale with ice, so when Makami accessories come out, it's going to scale really good with them. I don't think there's any um, ice accessories at the moment. I don't know. There's probably some ice accessory that I have no idea about. For glistening sword mag? What's a glistening sword mag? What's that? Is that the name of the rain mags? Cause I just don't know. Does anything have ice on it? Like any good accessories of ice? Yo, chichunes do, don't they? Yo, chichunes have ten ice. Cool. Oh, Makami Mag. Okay, yeah, yeah, those are gonna be good. They have a lot more range. Oh wow, cool. Yo, chichune made has ice on it. That's the only thing I have with ice. Just something to keep in mind. But I got this mag pretty good. So you sent a ticket too? Let's see if I get my three or not. You probably won't. I don't know. But we had to do it. I've never hit anything with Icicle Punishment yet either. I've never used it as a skill. 
You can't get frozen hell. What level's frozen hell? The tall ones are slender female. Yeah, but you don't have to specify what kind of female you are. Just the fact that you are female. I'm gonna go hit something with this real quick. Because we just made the mag. We just, uh... You don't know? Oh, you don't. I was about to say, what, le what, what level are you? That's gonna be a better question. What level are you? <laughs> oh, like, you can't use this mag. What level are you? What level are you? <laughs> Let me hit this guy. Eh. You're 121? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably like 128, 125, or 127. Probably. How strong is it? A mill? I don't have any abyss stuff. Wait, it's an invisible range? It can't hit him? That's some BS. This is the most deceptive skill I've ever seen in my entire life. So it's range is fictitious. Submit a ticket? Yeah. How much Dura is this taking? 56? Oh, rank 7. So they didn't program smaller ranges? Oh my god. That's crazy. It doesn't take that much SP either. Are you invincible during this thing? Oh, it's crazy lazy SW. Like the method they want us to get the alloy stuff. Absolutely. They should have just gave it to everybody. I've never seen a move with this like low cooldown though. It's quite crazy. Terra, they already merged, didn't they? Lyra might get angry. Why? Oh, they're merging platforms now. You got a skill level. Level 10. Oh, well, yeah. But he's playing too much Bloodborne to get it to drop. I find Terra's endgame very lackluster. Because you don't like get new skills, you don't get new stuff, you just do the same thing but at higher numbers. My SP can't come back. 
I don't even have SP staff. It broke. Okay. Uh huh. Being a role player? Wow. Yeah. Terra's endgame is literally. Okay, you got all these weapons and stuff? Great. You masterwork them all? Great. You can now go to the next dungeon. Great. Everything's harder in the dungeon. Great. What do I do? Get the same gear you had before and replace everything. Great. So you're saying I can't invest in anything and it's going to be worthwhile throughout the years? No! Oh, okay. Logs off. Like, that's how Terra feels to me. You have all the same skills. Everyone gets the skills at level 60 in a day. You do just Kumas for a day or buy a ticket to level up and... It's very shallow. Like, literally. Onigiri. Let's do the same thing to Onigiri, just to be fair. Welcome to Onigiri. What do I do? Struggle. Okay. Um, get, like... How do I get stronger? You farm. Oh. What if I don't want to farm? Then you can buy it from someone else who likes to farm. Okay. Hey, I can't buy any weapons past this point. That's right. Get good. Like... Oh, I, I, I can't buy the other side. No, you can't. I can't buy the Abyss. No, you can't. I can't buy the Warp. No, you can't. I can buy the Elsin. Yup. I can't buy the White Flash. No, you can't. Like, literally, that's how it goes. And then it's like, okay, Mags, I got 105s. Great. Cool. You found the 105s? No, I bought them. Okay. What about Fused? Oh, I bought them too. Okay. So you tell me you don't have a recipe. No. I don't find, like, it's like, do you have your recipe? Yes. Do you, like, do you have your recipe? No. I can't farm to get mags. Why? Because you don't have the recipe. It's like, yeah, but I need mags. Okay, get the recipe. But that's hard. No. And it's a vicious cycle. And then it's like, okay, well, what about Tempest? Can I buy Tempest? Yeah. Okay. I want to buy a Tempest. That'll be like $200, please. Excuse me? It's like, hello. <laughs> like, <laughs> but like Onigiri is not, it, it's completely the opposite. Onigiri is like, oh, all my, and Terra. All my skills that uh, it, you're a class, so everyone has the exact same amount of skills, and it's all just using them according to a flowchart. Okay, in Onigiri, everyone's skills are different. Like, yeah, but what I like is that my abyss is my abyss. A small minority of people are gonna have one that has blossom, lance flames, and fire crack on it. A smart person would have Ice Blossom, Lance of Flames, and Rolling Thunder on it, because Thundercrack is ass. <laughs> you know. Um, but that just keeps going. Like, oh, my rhyme has two water dragons, or my rhyme has three water dragons, and someone has, like... I got a seal today, actually. Onimo Palace, 300%. Got a seal after, like, three days. Um... But yeah, like the individuality of weapons in Onigiri is fantastic. It's everything's personalized. How you play is how you play. What weapons you want to use is what you use. You want to use a Detenryu? Go for it. You want to farm mags that you can invest in and have something that's going to carry with you for the rest of your life? Great. Go get Vanguards. Go get... Like... Go get Knowledge Mag. Go get a Tempest. Go get a Fuse. You want different elements? Go ornament them the way you want. Like... All this stuff. But I did that because it's Thunder and Pierce, but Thunder, Craig, Thunder Rolling Thunder is just amazing. Okay. Um, that, that side. Attack. Arr. Okay. I find Terra just very low at endgame, to be very, very honest. If Onigiri wasn't as deep and had as many possibilities as it was, Hard to say, hey, he's still playing this game. There's got to be room to grow, room to expand, and room to, you know, feel at home. It's hard to feel at home when every other person's the same as you, just from the click of a button. Um, but he, uh, NS, look at this mag I made. 
And Dubs, look at my Scorched Mag. It's cool. You looking forward to Caravan Stories? I don't know what that is. You love the constant cuts from the mic? Is that me doing it? I'm sorry. That was happening, but thanks for telling me. But check out this mag. I was ornamenting it. It got lightning and ice on it. So it's pretty good. Not god tier, like, rolls of multiple element, but still pretty good. Where did I get that? It's a free... MMORPG coming west? Cool. Uh, that's from the horse. The final form of the horse mag. Lightning and ice. Watch Terra come out with divine classes that are a step above and go to a higher level, giving access to new skills you can swap. I mean, for a game that's been out for like 10 years, uh, or I don't even know if it's 10 years, but a long time. Hey, San, we, we use like five mag resets on this thing. Like, I don't want a shocker going too high, though. I don't want a shocker going that high. My first three were garbage. My first roll was negative fire, negative dark. Then it was negative SP consumption. And then it was like 15 lightning and a bunch of negatives. And that was the first roll. We got rid of that because I don't want 60 chakra mag. The level bug. But yeah, I think it's going to be good. I got it for the icicle punishment because my mags are all negative. Um, but Ice Skill Punishment has 1400 skill force. Very low skill force for rank 5. Um, yeah. In Terra, mounts are all just aesthetic. Except if you get a really expensive mount, they heal you. But you, if you get hit, you get hit instantly off your mount. And they're not battle mounts. They're just the same thing as a bug. Like a, as a, a horse. Yeah. That's all I got to rank 5, yeah. Oh, it's going to stay on the screen? Cool. But I can take it to rank 6. And I got to keep trying in case I get rank 7 or something. But honestly, one of them... Like... It's cooldown so fast, you would never need to double up on it ever. Unless you wanted to put it on multiple weapons. Like... Icicle Punishment's cooldown is so... Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even with Toshi's, the cooldown would be fine. Yeah, someone else got it. Um, Elysia has a rank 7, they're telling me. Really powerful. But I guess at rank 6, I'm not going to cry. You know. But I'm going to try and get rank 7 for sure. Um, it's just annoying that it doesn't have the full range. Huh? Belligerent? I don't know that word, but sorry for getting belligerent. But yeah, Terra doesn't... I don't know. I guess if they had battle mounts, then the game could get paid to win? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I missed the comment. Uh, I got it through reward from the dungeon. Lunge Step Geki? With a cooldown of a, a of a friggin' year, what would that? I mean, if if lunch step sublime, lunch step sublime, literally just has to be the thing Brook does from One Piece, where you just slash through the entire room, and then you sheath the sword, and it just like slices everybody up. That'd be a sick ogi for sword, hundred percent slice like Hatsugiri, and it just slashed through the entire room. And then you just sheath your sword and it cuts everybody up. Oh, that'd be that'd be hot. Yeah, it'd be good. 
And then they give it to Spear. <laughs> oh, your answer was because fuck you? Oh. Yeah, like it'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I know there's 16 people here and I was talking about this earlier in the stream, but um, earlier in the stream I talked about what we have to do to get um, Akane and Aoi's outfits for our characters. And it's going to involve a process of... Um, you have to go to the Onigiri PS4 page, click on the contact us, sign in and send them an inquiry so you go to um you want to complain about like item and then you give them your registered email your character name location onigashima time just put today always and then you tell them hi i'm you know sending this in accordance with um your post um this is my registered name this is my character's gender and that's what um You know, uh, and then that's it. And if you want, you can ask them, hey, can I get this on only one character or on multiple? You know? Yeah, it's it's your variants. Um, when you smelt weapons, there's a, that, that little plus number is random every time. I have a Supreme better than my Reverence and a Reverence better than one of my Supremes. I believe. I could double check though. Yeah, I have a Supreme here with plus 13850, and it's got 24, 4, 27 attack. Um, but if I check my other wheat pawns here, I have one at 24704, and my Reverence is at 24357. So both my Supremes are better than my Reverence. Yeah, that's how I did it. I came in, did one run, and got it. Did nothing, really. Real different. The ugly stick. That's a lot of skill for us. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely worth getting. Definitely gotta give it my all. I tried Mega Embers on Supreme and it wasn't that good. In, at my current power level, it wasn't that good. But later on, they're going to be right good when we get the Purgatory Weapon. <sighs> going to be a lot of damage. And you can't roll out of this move, but I believe you're fully invincible during it. I'm going to keep skill leveling it. While we talk. Because there's no reason for me not to be. I gotta be proactive, guys. Gotta be proactive, says the guy in his pajamas. <laughs> yeah, that's really true. The the the, the Aoi skills, the Thunder Beast, and the Shlalom there. Right, good. There's a split second to get hit? Okay, not bad. You know... Every time I'm alive, I have a second to get hit. Vizzle Hall? I'm not a big fan of Vizzle Hall on Spear because our options for Holdy are just better, Ogi wise Now, Vizzle Hall should have been a universal skill. I think Vizzle Hall should be a skill, not an Ogi. Doesn't deserve it. Doesn't deserve the slot. Yeah, illusion. Was that a lot of damage? Well, oh, that was a good damage. Does this move do more damage the further away you are from an enemy? Nope, doesn't seem so. I wonder where this weapon, like, it does the same damage? Okay. 
Mini Godzilla. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Illusion Ray, yeah. But are you using the Ogi too? Does it hit multiple times? Can you discard a weapon? Uh, what weapon? Oh, is he weak to that? It's multi hit? Oh, cool. Probably not. You you wouldn't want to do that. I just figured it's better to to skill farm and talk than just to talk. I gotta get it to rank six. Not bad. Ow. But the mag's doing great, Eva. It's a great mag. Roll, please. Oh, I'm ready. Frozen Hell and this mag, I'll be ready. Uh. Oh, no, I'm not at negative 90 ice right now. Oh, you need to dry your hair. Um, I'm at 119 ice. And I'm wearing it with this yellow, a knowledge, and my crits for Sparrow. 63 crit on an abyss? Sweet, how? Doesn't the abyss cut your crit? Oh, it's negative 25 crit. Okay, I thought it was half crit. Oh, you can't listen for a while. You want me to do my rolling now? Oh, the last hit does a lot. That's what you were saying. The last hit of Icicle Punishment does a lot of damage. Because it explodes at the end. Oh, I see, I see. Does it hit behind you? Doesn't seem to. Oh no, I'm not going no Fujin dungeon. I'm gonna break this weapon. There we go. You only prep for one glistening sword when you need three? Yeah. For sure. <sighs> trying to think here um, so I was planning on rolling too I wanted to roll again and try and get another more always I guess at this point Akane's would be nice but more always would be good um, try to see what I can get chocolate guys I don't even know if they're weak to ice or not It 
It must have leveled up a bit. 15. Okay. It's got a long way to go. Oh, they're neutral to everything? Oh. Normally, ice is my negative, so it's kind of good to have like an ice build set up. And if it hits multiple times, maybe an ice Chiami might be good too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, big dog? An ice Chiami. Could be interesting. I don't think I have an ice Chiami though. Yeah, those accessories would be super good, too. You're back? Welcome back. I'm trying to see if I have one with ice on it. Rain. Window. Crit force. Lightning. Dark. Wind. Nothing. Yeah, I will be. I'll just waiting for you to come back. I'm gonna close the video down and roll. Fire and ice, okay. I don't got Kenshin's now. I only have one with ice on it, really? 23 ice on that Chiami. Good Chiami. Might try to get a double ice one someday. Be cool. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close down the video and we're gonna do ourselves some rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. So if you guys are interested in, for that, you can come on back. We'll do some, some rolling. And if not, have a great, great day. You've been a great audience. And hopefully um, we all get our outfits from Cyberstep and or they change their ways and just give it to everybody like they should. Bye-bye. See you soon.